Hi, Hiram here. I've had several requests for ideas on a small do-it-yourself hot beverage set. Something that you could stick in your day pack or your survival kit or whatever to just heat up a cup of water for cocoa or tea or coffee. Uh, so I scrummaged through my stuff to try to come up with something. This was one idea, that's another, but do this one first. This is just an aluminum cup that I picked up at Goodwill along with a uh, top from a, one of the thermos mugs that you can get at Goodwill all the time. This was another idea. You can take it apart and use this over a stove and then once it's heated up put it back into the cover. But if there's interest maybe I'll try that later. But this is the one that I was working on for now. It's just one of those thermos cups an aluminum cup with a handle or not a handle if you didn't want it. Inside in a bag with a small wire, hard wire, hardware wire uh, stove pot holder and a bag to keep the alcohol or whatnot from getting into your cup. And then a little tea light cup stuffed with fiberglass gasket like what you'd use on a fireplace. I think I got this, heard about this stuff from R.G. Berg. Previously, I did two other boil tests. Maybe you remember these. These were like from about a year ago. This one where it's the wrap from what you might use on mufflers held in place by another hardware cloth in the bottom of a coddle cup or a coddle bottle. This one when I ran the test on it, brought two cups of water from 53 degrees to boiling in 6 minutes and 43 seconds. So two cups of water boiling in six six and a half minutes, give or take, six and three quarters. I also did this one, which is another uh, tea candle cup with that same wrap on the inside, but without any hardware cloth. It just seems to hold there like that. That one... I did one cup of water starting at 60 degrees and it got to boiling, the one cup of boiling, in 3 minutes and 46 seconds. So I thought I'd try this one, like I said, with the fiberglass gasket. I'm going to try it with one cup of, yeah, one cup, one tablespoon of denatured alcohol for the first test. That pretty much fills up this little cup. So I guess a tablespoon is about all it would hold. Put the rack on it. I have two or have one cup of water here. Still fumes in here from the last test. I thought I aired it out enough. I have a cup of water here. And it fills this one up, this cup up, a little more than half. So you could actually put some more in there if you wanted. Put the probe back in. Now I'm going to do it without any kind of a lid on this. I don't know if this will take the heating from the stove, but it, you could use it later. I forgot to say that. You could use this to hold your stuff on the inside. Use a little Velcro strap or something to hold it down. Once you've heated your coffee or tea, you can put it on there to help keep in the heat. <coughs> you could also make some sort of an insulator for the outside of the cup, too. So let's start this. There you can see it. Hey, the water, one cup of water is at 57 degrees. Let's put that on and see where it goes. There we have 210, 211, 12 at 636 boiling water 
and let's see how long it takes for this to run out. Okay, even though the flame hasn't gone out, the temperature's dropping now. So I'm going to say at 8 minutes and 15 seconds is about when it started to drop. So even though we have flame on there, it wasn't enough to keep, see it's dropping down. The uh, room temperature in here today is 64 degrees with a humidity of 53, so that might affect some of that. Can't see it here, but that flame, it's still flaming. But one thing with this, you'll see with that camera 2 video part, it's about an inch from the top of the burner to the bottom of the cup, about an inch there, so maybe that might be a little too much. Uh, to do this a little faster, maybe elevate this up to heat it up fast, faster. But there we have a cup of water you could make tea out of, coffee, hot chocolate. Cup dimensions, I forgot to mention, it's about three and a quarter inches in diameter and about three inches high. Everything in it without fuel, the cup, the wire frame, the burner, and the cover weighed 86 grams or 3 ounces or 0.2 pounds not exactly a gram weenie kind of item but for somebody like me if I just wanted a cup of something even a little cup of soup you could make in this and there's still room I don't know if you can see it but there's still room for you to put a little more water in there if you wanted it put that on there like that wrap it in something some thermal insulator and that would keep warm for you for a while. So there's an idea for a do-it-yourself. Just go to Goodwill, pick up the different pieces. Yeah, see, you can see the price of these things has gone up lately. Too many people are going to Goodwill to buy things, so it's driving the price up. So I thank you for watching. Thank you for sending me the re request for information. Always look forward to that. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.